Okay, so in this video, what we're going to do is just add the car dealer press plugin and get to the inventory page. So we'll show you how to get it all set up. I've got a pretty fresh WordPress install here. I've got Genesis running dynamic as my theme, and I've just kept it really basic. I think I've got maybe two or three plugins on it right now. So what we're going to do is just go to plugins and add new. And then we'll type in car dealer press, of course. We're going to install and we're going to activate. Once that happens, you'll see the car dealer press settings show up over here. So we're just going to go to inventory settings, go to admin, and then we'll put in our ID here. And uh, you'll get the ID, obviously, as soon as you purchase. If you have a, the demo ID, you know, once you've requested that from us, we give you a demo ID to actually test. You can set it up to discourage the search engines to begin with. So if you've got a staging site, you probably want to do that. The debug info would be, obviously, if you've got any issues and you want to see what's going on or if, if we're helping you out on the support side, that, help, that helps us out. So... Um, as soon as I click out of it, it actually is going to save that. You can also hit the save button. Both does the same thing. So now that I've got the inventory in there, I can go to the site. And I've got links here already for browse used and browse new, depending on what inventory I've got. And you'll see I've got inventory. On occasion, what will what can happen is you'll see no inventory here. Just depends on your installation, how long you've had it up, what your hosting is. If that happens and you see an error message here, what you need to do is go to Settings, Permalinks, and then just click Save. And you want to make sure you've got a clean structure. You don't want to use the query param structure of the old default. You want to have post name or something custom and then just hit save and that should take care of it. So that's how you set up the plugin to begin with. Just as a, a side note, if you go to the help section, you'll see links to new and used. So if you haven't done that yet, or you know if you don't have a menu set up, you can just go right here, go to new and use respectively, and you'll see the inventory on those pages and then these are the pages you want to be setting up for menu items as well because you'll actually create custom links to these pages they're dynamic so just keep in mind we actually take over the taxonomy of slash inventory okay and everything thereafter if you have another page called inventory it's going to go away in most cases there may be situations where yours actually overtakes ours and and you're not going to have inventory on the page so highly recommend you don't have a page called inventory when you set up because it's just going to create a conflict and then uh, if you want to create any menu items we've got another demo or another video on that where you can go through and see how we do that but essentially just custom links to any of the links inside of the, the inventory you can direct link to to put in your menu. So if you wanted certified, you do what I just did. You'd click here, grab this you, the URI here, and then actually add that to your menu as a custom link. So that's how you set up the Car Dealer Press plugin. Have a great day.